I used subprograms on a recent project where I ran my mill like it was a lathe. This video explains what subprograms are and how they've been useful to me in the past. A subprogram is when you run one program inside of another program. The most common reason to use them is when there's some feature you repeatedly use on many different parts. Like say you engrave the same logo on 20 different parts. You can make one logo engraving program and then make 20 different programs that all call the logo program up. So the logo is engraved on all 20 of them, but you only had to program it once. Obviously you could just copy and paste programs or CAM files together, but using subprograms has a few advantages. One is when the sub gets updated, like a redesign to the logo, you change one program and anything that calls it up in the future will get the updated version. If you had copied it into all the individual files that use it, then all those individual files would need to be updated separately. Here are a couple times I've used subprograms and why I think they're worth understanding. My friend has an old CNC mill which he wanted to use to run a job that was too big for his small machine. The majority of the work for the job was removing this step from the material. To give you a scale of what I mean by small machine, compare the 30 taper tool holder of his mill to a more typical 40 taper mill. His machine is actually not even a mill, it's a drilling and tapping machine. Being light duty meant it had to take light cuts, and thanks to modern cam software, we could easily make high speed tool paths that wouldn't strain the machine. However, modern high speed programs are very big, and the machine's computer, made in the early 1980s, didn't have enough memory to handle the 13,000 plus lines of code. So to overcome this, I made a small section of the high speed program into a sub program and used a main program to shift it to a new starting point and repeat it until all the material was removed. Here's what that looked like. Most recently, I used subprograms to run some lathe operations on my mill by putting the material in the spindle and holding the cutting tools in the vise. I had two separate button designs I needed to make and two pieces of each design, so that is two different programs that needed to run two times each to make four parts total. Let's look at those programs in detail. So this is the main program, number one. It starts off like any normal mill program and then the first thing it does is calls up tool holder number 18, which is not a tool, it's a piece of material. And then it calls up height offset number 18 to go with that. Then from here, this code, M98, says to call up a subprogram. The subprogram it's calling is program number 2. So now it jumps directly into program number 2, which runs like this. Calls up G54 fixture offset, which is the turning tool. Turns the spindle on at 2000 RPM, faces it, rough turns it, finish turns it, increasing the RPM, and then calls up a new fixture offset, G55, to move over to the parting tool and parts it off. And M99 at the end of the program brings us back to the main program, number one right to the line where it left off and reads the very next line. These are comments, so it just reads past them without doing anything. The next line is only saying change to height offset 38. The reason I do that is to shift down to account for the material that I just parted off. And then it recalls program number two. So back to program two face it, rough turn it, finish turn it, part it off, and then go back to the main program. Now that's back in the main program, turns off the spindle, turns off the coolant, calls up tool 19, which is another piece of material. Height offset 19 to go with that, and then calls in subprogram number three, which looks like this. Pretty much the same thing, 
face it, rough turn it, finish turn it, part it off. Then M99 says go back to the main program, back here in the main program. It calls up another height offset, number 39, to account for the material that was cut off in the first time that it ran. Calls up program 3 again, runs through that, and then comes back out of number 3, stops everything, and that's the end of the program. So there are only a couple codes you need to know to use subprograms. In the main program, M98, followed by the program number you're subbing in, and then M99 at the end of the sub to send you back to the main. The only trick I see is to remember that what you make active in the main stays active in the sub, and vice versa. If you're rapiding, or you have cutter comp on in the main, or the sub, it'll be on when you go into the other one. Other than that, there's not much more to know to be able to use subprograms. But as you can see from my two examples, with some creativity you can get a lot of value out of them. Try them out if you never have. You might not see a use for them now, but once you learn how to use them, they could open up new opportunities for you in the future. One more example of something I'd like to use subprograms for one day. I want to nest a bunch of lathe parts that use the same material together in one bar, and then run each different parts program as a sub, so that the lathe will make the entire group of parts with all the different required programs automatically. That way, once I get it started, I could leave and let the machine run lights out. 